Hello and welcome to Rick's Garage. So in this episode, I am doing something about these horrible sun faded speaker covers. See you in a moment. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Rick's Garage. So yes, what I'm doing today is I'm going to be sorting out these faded uh, speaker covers. They are sun damaged. They are looking unusually grey. Now, what I find unusual about this is when speaker covers or material even which is sun damaged normally when they're black they go purple but mine seem to look quite grey unless that's the next stage after purple who knows not that it really matters but yeah I'm going to be do something about this today so the first thing I'm going to do before we go any further and discuss it any further is I'm going to remove these grill covers first let's get into it Okay guys, over to the bench, we've got the grill covers successfully removed from the car, nice and easy. So yes, as you can see, it is confirmed they should be black, as you can see where this bit is covered, that is not affected at all whatsoever. But as I say, normally with sun damaged things, I expect them to go purple where they should be black, maybe this is the next stage, but who knows, not that it really matters. Um, but yeah, the speakers are the same, obviously the bits that are not exposed they are still black. So we're gonna do something about this today. So what are we going to be doing to restore these today? Well, back in the day, I'm sure many of you, if you are old school like me, you will remember when we used to spray things with black spray paint, such as grill covers, speaker covers, or mainly parcel shelves when they were faded. Yes, it worked fantastically well. The only issue with spray paint is it goes quite rough and very crusty. It works well, but you know, it's not the kind of thing I want to do with these speaker covers and there are much better alternatives out these days now what you could do is completely recover these but you know why go to that kind of trouble now what i'm using today which is a very popular thing these days to use is this stuff such as black dye it's a spray dye this one in particular is from auto bright direct it's a uk based company i'm sure many of you guys have seen and heard of them before this is a general fabric dye to be used on things like carpets upholsteries car mats uh, parcel shells speaker covers for example it's a general spray dye i'm expecting great things from this stuff i've read fantastic reviews online so without further ado let's give it a go see what happens Okay, so I'm just going to do one at a time. I've got one of the round speaker covers on an old plastic cup. Uh, raise it up off the table. Yeah, so let's get the sp trigger sprayer in there. Oh, that stuff smells absolutely foul. Everybody who went to school back in the day, do you remember sniffing felt tip pens? <laughs> That's exactly what this stuff smells like, felt tip pens. So yeah trigger spray it in and now it does actually say to shake this stuff up give it a little shake and um, what I'm going to do is open up the trigger sprayer first come on Rick give it a little spray down there okay so yeah that comes out very very well and I'm, what I'm going to do now is go straight in for it and give it a good misting <laughs> wow now that is that stuff is very 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 thin but it is covering covering very well now this stuff does smell very very strong guys you might want to wear a respirator if you're using it and obviously maybe mask up put some newspaper down now this is a garage i don't mind a bit of overspray and everything so yeah that's gone on very very well let's see if i can pick that up underneath 
show you properly coverage is very nice very even let's bring the other one in just for a little bit of comparison yeah <laughs> night and day i'm sure you'll agree yeah it's covered it fantastically well that is a result so what i'm going to do now is do the other bits let it dry and crack on Now because this is a very very thin uh, grill uh, mesh it does soak in very nice if you was doing a carpet you put it on a lot more thinly and do multiple coats but I've just gone straight in there and done one thick coat of this stuff it covers very well it will take some time to dry so yeah what I'm gonna do now is set these things aside let them dry and then I'll come back in a minute or in a little while once they've dried and show you how they look but yeah, very happy so far. Okay, so these are the finished pieces. Okay, now my lighting in the garage, I've got the lighting coming from this corner up here. Um, so I don't know whether these two will look slightly different shade but I promise you guys they're not they're exactly the same um, it's just a lighting in my garage so yeah everything has had a total of three coats I didn't want to cover every coat on film because it just would have been a bit boring but yeah everything has had three coats uh, the reason for that is mainly for this piece after the first coat you could still see that black line at the bottom same after the second coat just about third coat it's uh, you know it looks a lot better now and they've turned out pretty well um, now texture wise don't expect the material to still feel soft like it did before because it does feel a little bit more firmer the material it feels a little bit harder um, it certainly isn't as bad as back in the day when we used spray paint it's certainly not that bad but yeah it's I'm, I'm quite pleased with it to be honest I think um, the overall finish is definitely better than black spray paint but you know all I'm saying is if you're going to use this stuff don't expect the material to stay soft because it won't but overall I'm pretty pleased with them to be honest so yeah the only thing left to do now is to get these things back onto the alpha so let's go So there you go guys, this job is successfully done. Now this stuff cost me £8.50 delivered. Absolute 
bargain. Um, you know, sometimes the smallest of jobs on cars make such a big difference. And to me, I think this looks fantastic. I'm not sure what it's gonna turn out like on camera, but actually being here, seeing them with my own eyes, they look absolutely fantastic. Now, obviously it doesn't stop at speaker covers. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's got faded speaker covers, but you might have a faded parcel shelf or, you know, a lot, lots of wear on your, your mats in the front of the car. Consider using this stuff, you won't be disappointed. Now, I have actually hinted on the Owners Club that I want to change my headliner from grey to black. Would I use this stuff on the headliner? I don't know, but I think it could work very, very well. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Should I make a video? Should I attempt to do the headliner in this stuff? Let me know what you think. Obviously, I would have to buy black grab handles and the sun visors, but everything else, uh, such as the actual headliner itself and the, uh, the pillow covers on the inside, I think this stuff could make a great video, but also it would do, more importantly, a great job of it. I don't know. I can't make my mind up, as I say. Let me know what you guys think. So anyway, as always guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching this video. I also want to say a massive thank you for all of the really nice comments I've received over the past few videos especially. Thank you for all the emails. I've been receiving quite a few emails uh, from a lot of appreciating viewers. Uh, my videos are only amateur. Um, I'm, very, I'm a very down to earth kind of guy. I know what they are and I know what they're not. But it's really nice, very humbling to know that you know so many people out there really enjoy the videos it's it's really really nice to receive comments like that um, they are very encouraging so yeah I just want to say thank you very much to you guys um, really appreciate it so as always thank you for watching and I shall see you guys in the next episode see you later bye bye